What's going on, Clutch Squat? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Dub. It's your boy, Ross. We in the Clutch. Hey, man. Back, back to y'all with another video today. You feel me? For sure, for sure. I'm we got. To my line, bro. Oh, to my bad, it. my bad. I wasn't trying to steal it, yeah, but don't my slip bad. Don't slip on the drip. Don't slip on the drip. Oh, here we go. We know Thanksgiving <laughs> week. You feel me? Here you go. <laughs> uh, when uh, Avatar Aang retired Fire Lord, uh, how you pronounce his name? I always, I always had a problem pronouncing the name. What? Oh, you talking about uh, um, Ozai. Ozai. Okay, okay. I think that's to I, save. That is how you said, huh? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's Ozai. Yeah, it's Ozai. <laughs> to save the oh, world. Let's get it. Chat. We got a chat right here. Y'all like it. right? YouTube, oh, YouTube. someone said Ozai. Yeah, there we yeah, go. Yeah, it is Ozai. Yeah. Okay, okay. I know what you Hey, you gotta be correct because if you are incorrect, boys is gonna come at you crazy. And apparently, Netflix is dropping a series, uh, Avatar yeah, series. Yeah, yeah. yeah and I've seen, I've seen. The uh, I actually accidentally seen it because <laughs> I was like, "What is this?" I thought at, at first I thought it was fan made. That's why we don't check it out, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't know. I didn't know. I thought it was like you know because yeah. I remember the movie, <laughs> so I was like, and that was dog shit yeah. so <laughs> i remember the movie i was like i didn't know anything of it and then right. netflix was like oh yeah we're dropping this on i'm i'm not knowing it's the actual trailer for a tv show i, I was like, oh shit i seen so, a little boy with a little mark and i was like you know what i'm gonna stay away from it just in case it's something that we might check out i didn't know man yeah. i'm sorry cool. i'm sorry but we're gonna get right but this is why we don't way. check out trailers y'all y'all wanna know <laughs> it's not why because i'll be checking out trailers you just don't be wanting to check them out. You don't be wanting to go to the movies. You don't be going to the movies. You didn't even want to see Ms. Marvels. Come on now. Look at don't you. do that. Look at you. Don't do that. You don't even want to see it. We're I getting. We're see getting it. No, you didn't, guys. Yes, I, I, did. I, I No, we're we're getting off topic. We can talk about this after the video. Let's get into this, bro. <laughs> Fucking cap it for y'all, man. I ain't so it starts off all. showing Fire Lord Ozai soaking in the solstice, which is giving him a huge buff to his powers right now. Firebenders derive their power from the sun, waterbenders the moon, Demi Lovato crack, it's all a cycle. So he decides to turn the entire place into dust, and look how he's cheesing while doing it. I've never seen a motherfucker so excited to ruin the world. This is top tier hating right here. Nigga, did I just catch you having fun? They says. <laughs> Similar to Krishan Rock clearing out a room with her music, Aang is watching Fire Lord Ozai clear out all the wildlife while shooting these flames down. And knows as the avatar, there's only one thing to do. It's time to get busy. Dip out low, bro. It's not safe for you. And uses earthbending to shoot off five rocks. And see, this is just how Avatar Aang is such a nice guy. Because he could have shot those rocks directly at Ozai to turn his ass into Flat Stanley. But instead <laughs> damages the ship, throwing off Ozai's aim so he can stop destroying the bird's home. I already know some pigeon came back to his crib and saw his entire family turned into straight KFC. <laughs> and then hitting the ship with firebending to blow it up. So this match preview stare off was the first time yeah. in the entire show they were face to face with one another. Aang this entire time was training to defeat a faceless man to him. He probably instead just imagined the punching bags were his barber to release the anger out. And this man Ozai wasted absolutely no time, saw a 13 year old standing out there and got to take him to the immediately, straight R. Kelly timing. He then lands in front of Aang and bros built like the damn crimson chin. <laughs> Meanwhile, my son Aang hasn't even hit puberty yet. How <laughs> that, that was always funny to me. Yeah. Bro, that was always funny to me. I was like, wait a minute. What's going on here? <laughs> we we going to let this slide? Okay, all right. But How does Fire Lord Ozai even explain, explain this to, to his homies? I heard the ops was calling me pussy. I'm about to pull up on them right now. Oh, yeah. What's good now, little nigga? Heard you was talking real greasy. Lean your shit. <laughs> me, 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 me. So happy you can make it to your funeral. You'll be seeing the other airbenders soon, son. Congratulations. This is how you know Ozai is really a demon, bro. Yeah. There's no way he just congratulated Aang for about to being murdered. <laughs> you be all into reading and shit. That's some real good shit. Congratulations, nigga. Did you just congratulate me for reading? But then Aang starts trash talking <laughs> yeah. back. You're not my dad. You also want to hear something. Ugly ass fucking noodle. 
I want to see the world burn. And then starts emoting, showing off his firebending <laughs> with this new buff to all his attributes Jeez. he got from the solstice. Bro. It's time to get active. Ozai sends a flame shockwave to which Aang jumps over and sends a giant rock back at him. Meanwhile, Toph is front row watching, I mean, smelling or listening to the fight, proud as hell of Aang right now using the moves she taught him. Ozai fire surfs over to which Aang meets him in the middle for a huge collision. So now it's really <laughs> heating up. <laughs> oh my god. Aang blocks one of Ozai's attacks, lands, and then blocks a flame whip. Whoever the dude was that first said, don't fight fire with fire, he lied. MLK had niggas just standing there catching an ass whoop and talk about some <laughs> No, don't worry, bro. They're gonna love us one day. Trust. Kicks the boulder at Ozai. And then does 14,000 flips to get away from the next attack. <laughs> he and this bitch flipping like Gabby Douglas. I'll still never forgive her for doing this Dougie on live TV. What Sent us back 30 that? years oh, with this shit. I just don't know what in the hell. You didn't even have to do that. Is is I, I get angry at moments you don't have to do. Like I can see if somebody asked you or in, inferred for you to, to do something. This was a moment she didn't even have to do. Like Yeah. That's that wasn't there wasn't no Dougie, bro. I, I told you. Was. That was not the Dougie. Bro. That, yeah, to, the to, this, to this day, that will be one of the most cringe moments. Even the white lady was laughing. In Olympic sports history, bro. <laughs> Tries to wash him in a wave and misses, but then just continues to run like a bitch. I don't know what's Aang's plan here. To tire him out? Maybe that would work if this was the Lizzo boss fight, but he's built <laughs> like an Olympian. That is not going to work. He picks up a boulder and doesn't even attack Ozai with it. Just leaves it there and runs away. Aang clearly got CTE throughout this fight already. Look at his face. What the hell are you so shocked about? It's surprising to you that Ozai isn't taking damage from your non-attacks? Hmm, whoa, I've never spoken to a girl before, so why do I still have no bitches? Aang blocks the attack from Ozai and then starts camping behind this rock to block the next attack. He then jumps away and finally, Aang decided it was time to stop doing cardio and actually get on offense. Jumps away and then charges back in, kicking a giant rock at Ozai that catches Aang lacking from this side. My boy Aang gotta turn up his mic volume so that he can hear these footsteps, cause look at his face. So he tries to hit the Heisman on the giant fireball, but it was way too powerful and he collapses rolling down. I'm sitting here thinking, damn, there's no way that can be it. Fetty Wap music career lasted longer than this fight. Oh, they stupid, dog. Aang puts on rock armor and then starts eating flames straight to the face. Now Aang been showing off his bag a little bit. Now he shows uh, off his tough. water skills. Shooting a water mist attack as Ozai dips out the way like an anime dad. Charging up lightning, shooting it at Aang which he blocks with a mini tornado. Ozai peeped that Aang has a perfectly good counter for it and said, We, we do, do not, not care. care. Just start <laughs> spamming a bunch more lightning bolts at Aang, <laughs> trying to treat him like a bikini bottom resident. Aang lands and look at him now. Ozai done fucked with the drip, bro. If Ye wore a trash, <laughs> niggas would call this swag, though. Takes in the lightning and redirects it, pointing it right at Ozai's face. And I'm thinking, oh yeah, right. Aang done got his ass, but nope, instead he gets soft and decides to shoot it in the air instead. I'm so disappointed, bro. He literally had it. Why'd you- Yeah, you had the moment. You had, you had the moment. That would have- always want the good guy character to- Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, man. Pack him up. Sometimes the better way is to pack a nigga up, bro. Please. <laughs> Stop. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I forgot there were some there's bitch, some bitch niggas, niggas in here. here. Aang gets up hitting the Jude Bellingham celebration, blocking the attack with a wall of earth, causing an explosion. But that wall that Aang put up is as strong as one of the ones from Attack on Titan because it did not protect him from shit. Aang is knocked the fuck out and goes flying off the cliff. He wakes up and in an attempt to not go out like Mufasa, uses his waterbending skills to catch himself and land safely looks up and sees Ozai coming right at him. Ozai has been on straight goal yeah, this entire fight. Man, man. All he's done up Where until this you? point is challenge his kids to boxing matches they didn't know they were a part of and sit in the dark like a creep <laughs> doing a whole lot of nothing. He's been fiending to get into some action for a while now. Aang just turns on the jets, skedaddling away, putting himself inside of a cocoon. 
He done got this shit from Gara, and we know what happened to his ass. The scriptwriters having Avatar <laughs> ending the biggest yeah. moment, performing like a 36 overall, got my chest hurting. I'm in straight tears right now. Aang is camping inside the ball, and his lack of age and experience is really showing as Ozai walks up and just starts letting him have it with a barrage of insults. Come out so I can send you to a Juice World concert with the rest of your family. Oh, oh girls are the same face ass. Ozai can't get it open, so he hits a step back and charges up his fire Kamehameha. Got my son Aang in this hole, sweating straight bullets. He knows if he gets rolled into a pack right now, once he gets to the spirit world with all the other avatars, <laughs> they're gonna be side-eyeing him, calling him a fraud. He never a fraud! Bro, you really went out like that, bro? Oh. Juice World concert, bro. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Never wanted this responsibility. Avatar damn state. Yeah. Ability anyways. That's why he literally Dang. ran away. Y'all niggas should have never put your faith in me. But I believe Aang can save the world. Wait, wait, wait. I don't want to fucking hear it. You're 12 years old and bald. I'm doing you a favor. <laughs> so Ozai just continues to full court press Aang with no success so far. So he spammed some more, got Aang boiling in there. He gonna come out burnt to a crisp, black as hell. Ozai is clearly not holding back while Aang clearly is. And all I'm gonna say is he's lucky it was Aang who was Avatar and not me. Yeah. I would have started bloodbending bro the second I laid eyes on him and I right off the cliff, easy W. But instead, my goal Aang is getting straight dog walked right now like the little boy that he is. So Ozai loads up a mini meteor and hits Aang's shield with it. And look at the light shining on Aang's face. So I know I that ain't who I think it is. Aang is clearly seeing the pearly white gates. <laughs> that is it. He did not make it. Osai keeps applying that pressure until Aang re-hurts his injury. And that right there was the worst mistake Ozai could have made. Aang starts tweaking out, seeing mad shit from past avatars and stuff that's happening present day. Deciding now it's time to determine his future. <laughs> <laughs> write that down, write that down. Ozai walks up thinking shit is sweet. Wakey, wakey, little boy. And the way Aang yep. popped out of this rubble in the Avatar yes, state. Yep. Oh, the oh, tables really have been turned. Y'all had my boy on fraud watch, but he about to make a better comeback than LeBron's hairline. <laughs> Blocking Ozai's attack with ease and blasting his ass mad far away using airbending. Ozai goes flying away and look at the way his body is bent. Can I get a C for getting my shit clapped? He goes tumbling and crashes his back into the wall. Got him on all fours hitting that Itachi Uchiha stance. Which is actually very fitting because Ozai is also trying to solo squad making a genocide happen. Aang flies over to where he's at and starts emoting back onto Ozai. He clearly was watching Kai's streams and took get back nigga to a whole nother level. <laughs> Thank you for that, Kaisenat. Indeed, word. Aang then decides to start pulling in all four elements. Earth, fire, wind, air, oh, straight towards him. Mm -hmm. Had me as a kid straight geeked looking oh. at the screen. <laughs> what is he cooking up right now? Like Makes Saturn joy. around himself using an air mm -hmm. bubble and a fire ring okay, while hitting the Hey Arthur fist. <laughs> I used to love that show, man. I remember this was my favorite scene. Yo, bitch, get in the car. I told you I was chilling with the bros today. Fuck oh, you talk about it. Yo, shut yeah. the fuck up, you bum ass nigga. Your dick don't even touch your belly button. Lower your tone. Pulls rocks all around him and then uses a water hula hoop to complete it. They shift over to show Ozai's reaction and his eyes are wide open like he has seen a ghost. They show Aang and he's on yep. straight demon time and ready to stand on business. No more monkeying around. Charges in at Ozai and got him spread out on the hood of his spear. Got him looking like he ready to say what's up to Spongebob in the morning. And then shoots him dumb far away using airbending. And Aang is on his ass. He is not letting up. Shoots a fireball at him, blasting him way down. And flies up way to the top to get the angles right. And starts chipping away shards of earth so sharp that they're cutting down the literal rock cliffs. And at this point, Ozai is smart. He's realized that it's clipped, so he decides to hit the dash. And starts flying away because he's scared as hell. The thing is, wasn't bro just talking crazy a couple minutes ago? He pulling the page straight out of Gohan's book. And pulls up to stop Ozai in his tracks, bending the wall shut right in front of him. I'm thinking maybe Ozai will make it through on some Maze Runner shit. The space in the wall was tight as hell. I still don't understand how to this day he made it through there. Ozai ducks out of the way of the closing wall and Aang knocks him out of the way with a wave of water giving him a shower. I already yep. know some of y'all just caught a heart attack at the word shower. You that one kid walking around smelling like straight grilled cheese yeah. sandwiches aren't you? Ozai starts looking up and look at him. Bro looks like he's ready to cry. Is, Is them tears, tears 
Come on, <laughs> man. We gotta get you together. Aang charges in, got Ozai moonwalking backwards, trying to shoot back, but it does absolutely no damage. Gotcha. So he does what any sensible person would do in this moment and hits the Black Father move, dipping out of there as quick as possible. <laughs> he flew away so damn fast, you can't even see him anymore. So I'm thinking, all right, he must have got away. But as he lands, he randomly kicks a flame into the air. And I'm thinking, oh man, Aang done gave this man PTSD and CT. He's swinging at the fucking wind now. But nope, it's because Aang somehow caught up already, blocking the flames and chasing him down. But Aang is tired of having to chase down Ozai like the little bitch he is, so he sends off five flames that clearly got tracker because they're following him everywhere he tries to get I don't know how he's pulling this off. I've never seen this before. It's the same way I felt when I saw the way Arthur wears his headphones. Bro, your ears are up here. That is funny. Yeah, that is very true, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what is he listening to? He got them hoes on his cheek, bro. They thought we was crazy. Oh my god, bro. Bro, your ears are up here. Ozai lands and copies Aang, sending off three flames of his own. But that shit is weak as hell. Last time I checked, three is less than five. That's quick maths. So Aang is like, <laughs> let me get rid of this shit real quick. Using water to get up all inside the flames and completely dispel them into thin air. I think Ozai started to watch the water and fire light show happening in the air and wasn't paying attention to the fight anymore because Aang catches him lacking with a gust of wind so powerful it's slicing through fucking solid rock. I've seen enough. Ozai will be looking up at us real soon. So Ozai, <laughs> after your fight with the Avatar, what's your plans to get re-elected as the Fire Lord? I'm not gonna be here. Aang manages to catch up to Ozai and uses a water whip to tie up all around him. Pulls him out of the sky and on some Bruce versus Loki shit, this was before Thanos had retired his ass and made him the Unincredible Hulk, slams him down mad hard onto the ground while standing over bro. And Aang is making sure bro never gets the faith of a rematch, ain't no run back for you nigga, mm -hmm. pass the sticks to the next person. Trapping his hands and legs so that he can't move, hovering over him, got Ozai shitting himself. Oh, I already know those Ozang shippers going crazy right now hearing that sentence listen, listen here, here bitch ass, ass nigga, nigga it's, it's time, time to die, die. and i'm, I'm shaving your, your head ball <laughs> too and ang has been doing him so dirty for the past few minutes i low-key feel bad peep his face bro went on are you stronger Dude. than a fifth grader and failed <laughs> and pressed his triangle and circle to activate his finisher Dude. using all four elements fire earth water and air to make a big ass whip slashing down to deliver the kill shot but ang starts to think to himself man what would Monkey Atsu think? I can't do this. I can't send him to the underworld. So as he's like a centimeter away from putting up the Victory Royale banner, he just dispels of the whip entirely. Aang knows he's got him beat. My jersey is going up in the rafters for the gold avatars regardless. I don't have to kill him. Lowering all the way down to frees Ozai from his earth shackles. I don't know if Aang for some reason thought Ozai was about to be a good guy after beating his ass. No, I could change him, face ass. In an abusive relationship talking about, I see something in him. Bitch, what you see a rematch hold your l like a man nigga and let me take you to your cell man fuck you you still a bitch <laughs> ozai is clearly a man with no honor Facts. and no integrity tries to sneak ang but ang senses that shit <clears throat> and catches one arm and traps the other he then begins to crane down both of ozai's arms to get him on his level presses down on his chest and his forehead sucking the life out of him to take away his powers so he can never harm anyone Damn, ever again with it man. <laughs> when I tell you that was uh, <laughs> one of the He best, spared him One of the best ones ever man He spared him man He, he, he could have <laughs> Packed him up for real I was hoping he ended him bro Like when he yeah. got out of state, I'm like what are you doing what are you Yeah, doing? You, yeah. You, you know how it go man you But I mean how... taking away his powers was Powers powers, yeah. though, like, It, it, it mm -hmm. kind of made sense He's like man I'm gonna make sure you ain't never able to do this again to nobody. Mm -hmm. Ripped him of his powers, fam. Yeah, now give me that. You don't need that no more. You don't need GGS. That. But yeah, man, this was this was a great one. Very interesting uh, to see uh, um, what they do with the um, the Netflix series because it has to be better than the movie. Yeah, the movie <laughs> that was, movie was oh bro. god. So I can I can only hope. That uh, Netflix will do uh, the show uh, justice, so we I will have to see how that play that out. Movie heavy Blu-ray because of Blu-ray at the time, remember? And I think mm -hmm. the graphics were like super good. 
Mm-hmm. But everybody was always like, yeah, this ain't it. Like, it don't look. It was, it was too, it's like it's too much that happened in the story for them to cram it into one movie. Yeah, so it, on the series is way smarter for sure. Mm-hmm. So it's gonna be interesting to see if Netflix can uh, do it justice, man. So I really didn't want another one, but yeah. Anywho, if y'all enjoyed it, y'all already know. Make sure you the likes, subscribe, man. Keep on supporting us, man. We catch y'all in the next video. Peace out. Already. This from Houston. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside, they know they can't handle half of me.